Okay, so on our problems, these first three, we want to find the direction of the induced current in the resistors. So this first setup, we have a coil of wire. We have a bar magnet. The magnet is being moved away, pulled away from the coil. Now, number one, what direction is the magnetic field on this side of this bar magnet? To the right. Exactly. Magnetic fields point out of north, wrap around, into south. So this coil starts with flux, and as we pull the magnet away, the flux is getting weaker and weaker, smaller and smaller. So the coil, the direction of the induced current is always to try to keep the flux from changing. So if the flux is getting smaller, the coil is trying to increase it back up. <coughs> so as a general rule, if your flux is decreasing, the induced magnetic field is in the same direction as the external one. So the induced magnetic field has to be to the right. And that's the direction it needs to be in inside the coil. So to direct, figure out the current, imagine, so this uh, coil is drawn so that this wire is coming over the front of the coil, of the core. If I want the magnetic field to be pointing to the right, and I want to hold on to the wire, if I hold on to the wire this way, my fingers behind the wire would be pointing to the left. That's not what I want. If I hold on to the wire this way, my fingers behind the wire would be pointing to the right, which is what I want. So the current induced must be coming down this branch, which it will continue left to right through the resistor. Okay. You said as flux changes, the current will try to oppose the change. Oppose the change. Because regardless of what the change is, it just wants to go against it. So if the flux is decreasing, it wants to try to increase it. If the flux is increasing, it wants to try to decrease it. Questions on this one? This one, another coil. We have a separate coil that has the resistor in it. This red wire is not touching the black wires at all. Initially, the switch is open, so there's no current flowing. If there's no current flowing through this black wire, then there's no magnetic field at the moment. So there's no flux through that right-hand coil. <coughs> when we close the switch, current through this branch is going to start going this way. So it's going to create its own magnetic field in what direction? Inside the coil up here. So current. So behind this wire, the field is to the left. So the magnetic field due to the black wire is to the left. So in this case, did the flux increase or decrease? It increased. It went from zero up to some value. So this coil wants to create its own magnetic field in the opposite direction to try to decrease it back down. To get magnetic field to go to the right, if I hold on to this part of the wire that goes in front of the core, if I hold on to it that way, my fingers are pointing to the left, which is not what I want. If I hold on to it this way, my fingers are pointing to the right, which is what I want. So the current must be coming down on this side of the branch, which means up here it has to be going left to right. So the induced current will be clockwise in that case. Yes? So if you were to follow that coil around, wouldn't then your fingers be pointing the other way? No, if you're on the back side, you have to remember that you want the field in this core region. So the back wire, you want to know the field on this side of it. So if your thumb is going this direction, my fingers on this side of the wire are still pointing to the right. Okay. If I come up here, my fingers are still pointing in. So it's within the center region of the coil. So regardless of which uh -oh. side I put my thumb on, in the central region, my fingers are always pointing in, towards me, in this case. <coughs> this one 
when we have a current carrying wire, the current in this wire is increasing with time. So what's happening to the flux? Through this guy. It's increasing. Exactly right. This wire is creating a magnetic field up here in what direction? Into the board. So the magnetic field due to this wire is into the board. The flux is increasing. So this one wants to create its own magnetic field coming out of the board to try to decrease it back down. To get the magnetic field coming out of the board, if I grab this piece of the wire, my thumb has to point up. I grab this piece of the wire, my thumb has to point to the left. I grab that piece of the wire, I have to go down, and so forth. So the current going that way. So it all boils down to whether the flux is increasing or decreasing. Because the induced current is always going to oppose the change. If the flux is increasing, the induced magnetic field will be opposite the external one. If the flux is decreasing, the external magnetic field will be in the same direction. By the way, this one, the induced current will only last for a very short period of time. It only la lasts for that instant while the um, switch is closed. Because the current in here reaches a steady state where the magnetic field will stay steady and the flux will no longer change. So the induced current there is only quickly and shortly produced. So our last situation, we have a metal rod, it's moved to the right through a magnetic field. The charge separation is induced as shown, so we have the positive charges to the top and the negative charges to the bottom. Determine the direction of the magnetic field. This goes back to the force on a charge moving through a magnetic field. If V is in the I hat direction, which it is, the force on the positive charges is the positive J hat direction, because it's up towards the top. Right hand rule, if I put my index finger in the direction of the velocity, I know my thumb needs to be the result. The magnetic field has to point out on my palm. Well, having my finger to the right and my thumb up out of my palm is automatically into the board. So the magnetic field here is into the board. <laughs>